Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of this little two video mini-series mini on how to retrieve and even insert data to a database using a form data model in AM Forms. So today we are going to set up the actual form uh, that will connect with the form data model and then we can use the form to retrieve that data from the database. And it's a pretty simple process. If you haven't seen the first video of the series on how we uh, set up the form data model, please go check that out and then uh, watch this video. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the Create button, and we're going to go ahead and create an adaptive form. I'm going to use a blank template. Click Next. And we'll click, give it a title of maybe YouTube, well, let's do YouTube form. And then I'm going to go under the Form Model tab. And we're going to ha we have to select that form data model, model we created. So under the select from, I'm going to click form data model, select form data model. And then I'm going to scroll down to I see that YouTube model that we created in the last video. So I'll select that and then I'll click on my create button. All right, so now I'm on the form creation screen. And now we are going to want to add those fields from our form data model. In order to do so, I can go to the left-hand side of the screen and select Data Sources. And then from here, I can actually simply drag and drop these fields over to my form. Um, so these were the fields in the form data model. So we had that profile ID uh, field, first name, last name, phone number, username, and email address. And what's really convenient is that these are already linked up with the form data model. Uh, so we don't have to actually go into these fields and connect them uh, directly to the uh, form data model that we created. Uh, we can actually do that with existing fields if we wanted to do that. Um, so we could add a form data model to an existing form is what I was trying to get at. So in order to actually, uh, we have to, so we had to create a rule in order for it to retrieve that data from the database. And the rule we're going to do is whenever this profile ID is changed, then it's going to invoke uh, that service, that get service that we kind of set up, and then it will we'll populate the uh, information it retrieves in all these different fields. So we're going to go to the profile ID, uh, this little field, and then we go to edit rules, and we're changing it here because uh, the profile ID is the primary key in my table, so there's, it's only it's a unique uh, identifier. So I'm going to create a rule. And then uh, we have our rule editor screen. And this rule is just going to be whenever the profile ID is changed, then I'm going to have it invoke a service. And that service is actually going to be kind of towards the bottom. It might be closer to the top for you, but we can see that the YouTube model uh, is one we created. Uh, in that last video, this is that service we were working with. So I can click that get service. And then here we can see a few more fields pop up. So for the input field, uh, this will be the field on our form that we're going to input into the database as our profile ID to retrieve the rest of the information. So I'm going to scroll down to the profile ID field, and then I'm just going to pretty much match everything up with each other. All right, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to click on Done. And then I'm going to close out. And then if I get a preview, it should it should be working now. So if I type in 1 and click away, we can see that the rest of the form populates uh, with the, the data from the MySQL database. I think I have another one, so I can click on 2. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap everything up. I want to thank you guys for watching uh, my video today. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up uh, and please subscribe to my channel and have a nice day.